back to Ajay Stromani Guru, your go-to channel for the latest updates and advance analysis on various commodities. I'm Nina, and today, on the 14th of November 2023, we are diving into the world of ice cotton futures. It's been a dynamic week with some interesting developments affecting the market. Let's get started. In the week ending November 10th, ice cotton futures continued their streak of losses. Weak global demand played a significant role, impacting recent U.S. export sales. Additionally, the decline in crude oil prices and cautious remarks from Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell discouraged long traders from entering the markets. However, it wasn't all gloom and doom. On Friday, ice cotton futures saw an UPTICK as investors prepared to roll over their positions from the front-month contract. Despite this, a combination of a bearish WASDE report and lingering demand concerns contributed to a weekly decline in prices. Broader weakness in grain markets further dampened investor sentiment. Earlier in the week, cotton prices hit a six-month low due to a bleak outlook on demand from China. On a positive note, a softer dollar and a rise in crude oil prices provided some support. A weaker greenback makes cotton more affordable for overseas buyers, while higher crude oil prices impact the competitiveness of polyester, a cotton substitute. Let's take a look at the closing prices. Ice cotton contracts for December ended at 77.32 cents, up 80 cents. March closed at 79.5 cents, 29 cents higher. May settled at 80.28 cents, adding 15 cents. Unfortunately, the December contract experienced its second straight week of losses, down 230 cents or 2.9 percent. Meanwhile, December cotton options expired on Friday. Moving on to market data and reports, the USDA's weekly export sales report showed net sales of 395,200 running bales of cotton for 2023-2024. This is down 14% from the previous week but noticeably higher than the prior four-week average. The USDA also made adjustments, raising the national average cotton yield, which lifted production and impacted domestic use and global numbers. Taking a quick look at the weather, NOAA's seven-day QPF forecasts heavy rainfall for the Gulf Coast, with significant accumulations expected in southern Los Angeles, Mississippi, and Alabama. Unfortunately, The weekly commitment of traders' data is delayed until Monday due to the Veterans Day government holiday. However, recent data from the CFTC showed managed money spec traders reducing their net long positions, while commercial cotton traders closed hedges, lightening up their net short positions. That wraps up our weekly update on ice cotton futures. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, Remember to do your own research before making any trading decisions. I'm Nina, signing off from Ajayas Thromani Guru. Until next time, happy trading!